Well, if you missed the news last night, our news partners at ABC 13 brought you these stories at 9 p.m. Right now, there's an urgent search for the killers who took eight-year-old Paul Vasquez's life. Investigators released new images of the suspect's vehicle. Detectives found it at a gas station near the scene of the shooting on McNair. It's a great Kia Optima with obvious damage to the front passenger side. Vasquez was a student at Cloverleaf Elementary. Detectives say he was in bed when the shooting happened Sunday night. If you have any information, you urge to contact Crime Stoppers immediately. Houston police are also looking for a suspect who claimed the life of a murder victim's stepfather. The shooting taking place at the same Southeast Houston home where son was found dead just two nights prior. This is what the scene looked like on Swiss Lane. We've learned the victim is 59-year-old Anthony Merchant. This man was the father of 37-year-old Edwin Hill, who was shot to death at the same house Monday night. The father was at the home with his wife, the victim's mother, and they were trying to retrieve a vehicle that belonged to their son. As they were doing that, HPD investigators say a car pulled up, four to five masked people jumped out and fired several shots at the couple. The father was hit multiple times and later died. The mother was not hurt. Senator John Cornyn says he is done talking about gun control. He left a high stakes meeting Thursday afternoon to return to Texas. He expressed frustration over how long talks are now taking. Cornyn said he'll continue working with his colleagues through text or email. Reports say the bipartisan group of senators working on the bill have nearly reached a final agreement. And other senators are indicating a final deal will come soon. Join us for more news from ABC 13 tonight at 9 p.m. right here on CW 39.